Hello everybody out there, Chris here. Wanted to do a video to show off our second box of autograph authentications from PSA DNA. We sent a hundred cards uh, autographed to PSA. They had a quarterly special in December and received those back um, just a few uh, weeks ago. And so I kind of wanted to, to break them up a little bit. I know what's in them. I, I know what's already been authenticated and what's not. Um, but I didn't want to drop a hundred cards on you at once. So I decided to break up in a few videos. So just going to open them by the boxes. Had a hundred total cards sent. 99 were authenticated. I had a couple in there that I just wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure on, but I took a chance. And so I'm really pleased with that result. And I hope everyone's having a great week. I know I'm pretty excited. You know, spring training's in full, uh, full mode right now. Um, my Rangers scored 25 runs the other day in a game. So there's been some abysmal pitching, but uh, the season's right around the corner. So I'm going to go ahead, flip this around, and uh, show off what we got. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is going to be the second box of autographs that we open. And dump them right down here on the table. As always, I'll be putting these in superior fit sleeves when we're done with these uh, unveilings. Oh, good. I don't know which ones these are going to be, so I saw one that's already good. It's it's actually perfect for what we're doing, so I gotta love it when that works out. You see Wendy Peppercorn right there, and I'm going to tell you, you're going to see her right here. So this was a Topps authenticated signature. Uh, of one of the uh, most famous ladies in baseball movie history, Wendy Peppercorn. So this is uh, Marley Shelton is her name, the actress. This is a pretty cool, just kind of a, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's just a cool, cool thing to have in a collection. If you like baseball, you love baseball movies, grew up as a kid and, and watched The Sandlot. So a very cool autograph to have. It was already authenticated through Tops anyways, but I wanted to, I've got uh, the rest of the cast members, or a lot of the cast members of the Sandlot. So I wanted to add this to the collection. So just kind of a unique card that, uh, it was a Tops Archives, by the way. I think it was 2018 Tops Archives that uh, since they were commemorating the 25th anniversary of the Sandlot. So very cool. Um, Glad that I had the right display up for it. Uh, next card is 1992 Tops Ryan Sandberg. So very excited to uh, add some more Sandbergs to the list. Obviously, I named uh, a kid after Sandberg. Same spelling. He's going to go his whole life being called Ryan, um, and uh, and going to have to spell his first name. It's Ryan, but. Got to uh, love Sandberg, great signer through the mail, uh, great guy in person. So we had the opportunity to meet Ryan and uh, it went really well. So this is Fergie Jenkins. This is 1981. I think it's traded. Uh, maybe just regular tops. So I think it was tops traded, but um, yeah, it may be, uh, maybe regular tops. So very cool card. Fergie was a great signer through the mail. He uh, still signs, and um, $40, I think, a card. He'll uh, he'll inscribe it and sign it. So working on our Fergie run. Of course, I love the Rangers. Uh, I love those hats. I uh, love 1981 tops. So a lot to like about this card, but a beautiful signature right there. Um, you can't go wrong. A little bit of Fergie Jenkins. And uh, continuing the Fergie Jenkins train, we're going to 1982. So the next year. Also a beautiful signature right across the front. This one, it's a little bit uh, more elongated. So I can't say exactly when these were signed. Um, obviously not at the same exact time, but this is a, uh, you know, not the best photo. I mean, it's almost like they, you know, they're like, what can we go with? And, and this is what they opted for. But 1982 tops, he's got a 1982 tops traded too, because he played that season for the Cubs. Speaking of Rangers, World Series heroes, or almost heroes, Mike Napoli. So, party at Napoli's. This is his 2000 and, that's 12, isn't it? Yeah, 2012 tops. 
Mike Napoli. Just a really cool guy to, to cheer for. It's got a little smudge in it, but uh, I like the fact that he was in his Rangers uniform. Uh, this was right after, this would have been the 2011 season, which was just a magical season for him and the Rangers. Unfortunately, he got hurt, but uh, I was at the World Series game where he absolutely demolished a home run and I missed it. So it was the one time I was stuck in a line uh, getting food. I saw it on the TV, but I missed the home run in person. But great, great guy, uh, very fun. And uh, as a Ranger, uh, definitely, as a Ranger fan, definitely loved him. Uh, so next one is 2016. It's Topps Chrome. It's Cole Hamels. So uh, Cole is a, an interesting fellow, but he is definitely a hard guy to get signatures for. So very excited to add him to the collection. Obviously, I, we named our, our last son, um, I now just turned six, Cole. We named him after Cole Hamels. So if you've watched our channel for long, we've done some Cole Hamels rookie search. He's He loves Cole Hamels. Um, so uh, unfortunately, when we named him Cole Hamels, we thought Cole was, was surefire Hall of Famer. So unfortunately, uh, injuries have derailed his career, but Speaking of Cole Hamels, uh, 2011 Bowman. Uh, I think what I liked about this particular one was he was he was batting, so it's kind of cool. I like uh, I like pitchers batting cards. It's kind of sad to think that uh, we're I guess we're not going to see that anymore, really, and not even in spring training. So these uh, these are like going to be dinosaurs when people look at them. And they're like see that pitcher and, and, and see the pitcher batting, but. Very cool card to have of, of Hamels. Next one is, I've got a mark on the back of it, Gaylord Perry. That's another thing. You know, when you're looking at a card and you want to get a, a, an autograph card, you know, a card like this, I mean, I don't think anybody would grade a 1977 top Gaylord Perry, but it's got a mark on it, and that would significantly hurt grading, even if everything else was, was great overall. So that makes this one a great candidate, uh, Gaylord Perry, to sign it. He just went all the way up the card. I like it. Uh, obviously, he's a Hall of Famer, but uh, I like it because he's in his Rangers gear, much like the Fergie Jenkins card I had. So, very excited uh, to have that one as a part of our collection. Next one is Mr. Ranger, Tom Grieve. So, this was a, the, the famous, maybe infamous, 1972 Tops. This was the first year for Texas Rangers baseball cards. Uh, they all had their old Senators gear on. And, um, but they've got the, uh, most of them are airbrushed out or you can't see the, the center, the senator's insignia. It's last year's a broadcaster and he sent me a really nice note back, signed this card, beautiful signature. So Mr. Ranger, Tom Grieve, grateful to have that in the collection. This is a local guy. Uh, I got a root for him. I don't like the angels, but uh, I got a root for this guy. He is from very, he, he, He's not very far away from where we live. Um, he's he's done a lot of stuff in the community and, and will continue to do some things for the community. He's really active with some baseball stuff, particularly during the pandemic. So um, I'm, I'm rooting this guy on, and uh, it's Joe Adele. It's a beautiful signature, and uh, this is his first Bowman. This is paper, but I thought, uh, I thought it was a good time to submit this. I, I think this guy's gonna go on a tear. So uh, I wish it were for my Rangers and not against them, but you know, gotta have a, gotta have some some people to cheer for, even if they play for the Angels. This next one is another Fergie, Fergie Jenkins, uh, 1975 tops. So <laughs> I don't know. You either really like 1975 tops or you don't. Um, I don't know about the red and yellow uh, borders here. I, don't, I just don't know. But uh, you know, I think the George Brett rookie looks great. Even the Robin Yount rookie. Uh, looks great. This one, a lot going on there. But uh, what I like most about it is it's a Texas Ranger. It's a Hall of Famer. Beautiful autograph. Um, almost, you know, very similar to the one that's on there, the facility. Facility. That's such a hard word to say. Uh, next one, another Cole Hamels. This is his uh, at least playing rookie card. This is his first card um, with... Uh, the rookie card insignia on it. So he had uh, he had a draft pick card um, early on, 
and then he had a prospect card with Tops. But this is his first Tops rookie card. It was 2006 Tops update. So we, um, Cole, my Cole, and myself have pulled this card a few times. We've got one ready to send to him to, to sign. But this is one we actually purchased uh, off eBay, if I recall correctly. But uh, obviously knew the signature enough to recognize that it was a, a, a good Cole Hamels. So, and PSA agreed. All right, the next one is another Hall of Famer. 1983 Tops, Ozzie Smith. I uh, really love this card. I like the look on his face. He's still got the bat, uh, that really long swing that, uh, that he had. So getting ready to run down that first baseline, even the, you know, the chain is ajar, everything. So really loved uh, Ozzy Smith as a player, was fortunate enough to get to see him play several times. This, uh, the only mistake I may have made on this card, and it looks good in the light, I sent a gold pin uh, for him to sign this uh, in addition to his rookie card. And it's harder to tell uh, probably when it's not in the light, but it just didn't pop off the card uh, like I was hoping it would. I had that iconic, you know, photo of him sitting around with a dozen or so Gold Glove Awards. Um, if you've ever seen that photo, I was thinking about that when I sent this. So I wanted to kind of have a little bit of special meaning. But it's a cool card. Uh, it is, you know, for me, it, it fits the purpose of these autographs. Is this guy actually touched this card. He actually signed it. The same hands that were uh, so golden in the field or we'll put the autograph on there. So love the card. Love the player. Next one is a 1973 Tops Carlton Fisk. Uh, this is a, a Gold Cup rookie. I don't know what he's so mad about. I mean, it looks like somebody just peed in his Cheerios, but he uh, it looks like he was not ready to take this photo. And uh, I can't imagine that, um, I can't, I don't know what was going on that day. He looks super annoyed. Maybe someone's asking for his autograph and you know, here I am. Uh, getting his autograph uh, years later, but Fisk is a great signer through the mail, has a big, bold autograph. He charges $50 an autograph. Uh, it actually is all donated uh, to a cancer research center in the uh, Chicago area, but I think he splits his time between Chicago and, and I think Tampa uh, or somewhere in Florida. So cool card, uh, very, uh, very iconic card just because of the gold cup and the fact that he's a Hall of Famer. So, let's see. Next one is another Hall of Famer. It's a manager, Whitey Herzog. And um, it was his only tenure with uh, the Texas Rangers. It was one season. Didn't even make it a season. It was his first managerial stop. Of course, he had to replace the, the legendary Ted Williams. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Whitey was fired, um, and I think Billy Martin was is the reason. He was, Billy Martin was the hiree, if I recall correctly. So unfortunately, the Rangers did not keep Whitey Herzog very long as a manager. He, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't think he lasted. I think he made it the, uh, the 73 season, maybe the 74 season before he was let go. I love that Jackie Moore is on here. Jackie Moore was coaching until very recently. So some good names there, but this is uh, Whitey's only uh, only tops card uh, with the Texas Rangers. Um, so at any rate, he's a great signer through the mail, $5 card, and uh, he's in his 90s, still going strong, which is pretty cool. So happy to add that to the collection. Follow up with another Whitey Herzog. This is his 1957 Tops, back in the Washington Senators days. And uh, this is his rookie card. So he was a, uh, an outfielder. He wasn't, uh, obviously wasn't recognized as a great player, but he must have, uh, he had a lot of wit about him and a lot of knowledge and uh, was a very good leader because obviously he made the Hall of Fame as a manager, won quite a few World Series uh, with a couple different teams. So. Next one is Ryan Sandberg. So 2019 Tops, beautiful card. Um, this is a, obviously a variation or a short print. Uh, what I like about Rhino's signature is because it's a vertical card, he had a lot of room to write and he did, uh, which I love. So uh, usually his signature is, is a little more compact. So this was a great card to uh, get autographed. Again, Rhino, 
uh, when he signs through the mail, very reasonable, uh, usually $10 a card. And uh, so we have, uh, we've uh, we sent to Rhino uh, for some time now, uh, periodically. So try not to wear them out, obviously. But this is another card um, we sent to Ryan. So this is uh, obviously his rookie card. He charges more for his rookie cards to be signed. But this is his 1983 Fleer. Love the uniform. Um, I'm kind of glad we don't have those uniforms anymore. It'd be kind of cool to see them every once in a while like we do in throwbacks. But uh, this is a pretty iconic card. I'm very fortunate that my Ryan was able to pull this card uh, out of a pack. And uh, very, very cool that uh, Rhino, he's so uh, interactive with fans and uh, that he sent it and signed it. And obviously a, a great candidate for PSA and put it in his lab. Next one is, you know, a little bit of a uh, debated character in baseball, but uh, 1986 Donruss Jose Canseco. So this is his rated rookie card. So very cool autograph. Got a little peach fuzz going on. Was a young guy, but who knew, you know, back then what he was doing and how he would impact or affect the game. So unfortunate how things kind of ended uh, between Jose Canseco and baseball, but still this was a this was one of the cards to have when I was a kid. So I always wanted this card. It was uh, out of my price range, out of my budget as a young kid. I've got a few uh, now and glad to add a signed one to our collection. And the last card we're gonna show off today, another Hall of Fame rookie, the Goose, uh, Goose Gossage, 1973 tops. So pretty cool card. This is a uh, card he'll sign for $10 through the mail. He's uh, slowed down, uh, and what I mean is he, he takes his time, which hey, that's completely his right uh, to do. So he, um, We'll send a probably send a card to him every six to eight weeks. We do not send a second one until he sends uh, sends one back. So um, when we get one, we'll, we'll send him one. But he um, he signs like I said every six to eight weeks. This is the first card we ever sent him, and uh, of course it was a good one to to pick. It was his rookie, so it's got a little. Cre it's really hard to see. It's got a crease right up here, so it wasn't a good grading candidate but it looks really good, very dynamic for an autograph, and he did a great job of signing this one. So glad to add it to the stack, and uh, well, I hope you all continue to have a good month of March and uh, enjoy some college basketball, and uh, we'll, we'll open up another one of these here in a little while and, and show it off, and I hope everyone's having a good one, and we'll see you. Come on, come on.